Hey guys, uh, so I got an intake manifold I'm working on. Some of you guys asked for a little bit more fab stuff. I don't do a lot of fab stuff anymore. This thing leaking. Stupid airline. I don't do a lot of fab stuff anymore, but I do do some repairs for people that I know personally. Um, if you guys would be able to see, I'll put a couple pictures in here. But this thing is cracked almost all the way around on both sides. I don't know what kind of manifold Maz works. I'm not familiar with them, but probably... I think it's off of a BMW or I don't know something like that so well you can see really see where it's cracked there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the die grinder with this bit on it and I'm gonna chop all this welder there and see how hard it is to get this manifold flange off so that we can actually get it really good and clean because you can see how much oil is and stuff is in there so I'm hoping that we can do that and fix this thing once and for all hopefully because you can see where they got a real nice a real, I don't know if maybe somebody's repaired it once before, but you see how nice, how big that weld is, nice spread out weld, and then these tiny little ones are all cracked. So I'm not sure if they've maybe repaired this once before, maybe, uh, I'm not, well yeah, I'd say somebody's been in here once before, but we'll see. Well guys, uh, I'm just going in there with the die grinder can't really see it. I guess you can see it a little better here. Just going in with the die grinder and kind of gouging the weld out that's that's not broken. There really isn't too much of it. I think it was like three or four inches across the whole manifold, um, which is being that it's around all those runners is not a lot. All right, we got the flange off. And you can see, you guys probably wouldn't be able to see it in the time lapse, but where it's nice and shiny there, that's how much I had to cut to get this thing to come off. So there really wasn't much holding it on there. It was somebody's been in here and welded it once before by the look of it because they didn't get it clean. You can see all the you can see it might be hard to see in the here, but you can see the porosity in the But anyways, I'm gonna get this thing all cleaned up and then before I start welding it, I'll come back. I'll just throw back into time lapse. I don't know how long it took me to do that. It took me 30 five seconds time lapse whatever that is so i'm not sure exactly how long it took and i'm going to look around at the rest of the manifold and make sure everything's good there i think the problem is is the way that the manifold hangs i think is the issue and that's the reason it's breaking but there's not really much you can do about that without reinforcing it so it is what it is so anyways i'll throw it back on time lapse well just going after it here um grinding all the weld down that was there i want to get rid of all of that porosity weld and all that stuff out of there just on doing the same on both sides all right guys so i got this thing cleaned up a bit so we're gonna weld i just did with sandblast i still gotta wipe it down do a little bit of wire brushing on it just to make sure everything's good and kosher the weld is super deep in a couple spots from whoever fixed it last time so i'm gonna have to do a little bit of I'm gonna throw a piece on the floor so basically all I'm going to do is fit this back on. I'm going to put a couple tacks on it. And then because it doesn't fit just perfect, I want to see where flat is. So I want to make sure this surface stays flat best I can anyway, because if it's not flat, it's not going to seal, obviously. So we'll get that tacked on there and then uh, we'll weld her up. So I'll throw it in a time lapse again. Um, Eventually, I should see about finding a lens so that I can do some uh, arc shots, I guess. But haven't got there but you can see where i how i v'd this out real good nice um i want to be able to get a real good weld in there so the weld will probably be probably wider than it really should be but it's going to be probably three eighths of an inch five sixteenths to three eighths of an inch wide i want to make sure that we have a good weld on there being that basically okay that this intake's upside down but this piece basically hangs off of here other than this one bracket i don't know what this bracket goes to though but it basically hangs off of there with the throttle body and everything. This thing, this thing is turboed. I was talking to the guy that owns it. Um, it is turboed, so I would imagine that's the reason it's cracked. You know, years of abuse. Just you know, aluminum only takes it so long, and it cracks. So, anyways, uh, we'll get after welding this thing, and uh, if I run into anything funky, I'll come back to you, I guess. Well, I just. Uh made sure that the manifold was flat there that's right with that betsy clamp on there to start with i'm um, throwing a little tiny bit of heat preheat at it I had to close the door because of the breeze blowing in was blowing my argon away but other than that getting welded up and get after it here 
um, it was just one of those things. I don't know if it was me or if it was the aluminum or, but I seem to have to sharpen my tungsten way more than I usually would. Um, but for whatever reason, it is what it is. Sometimes just the way she rolls, if you have a bad day or the aluminum doesn't want to work with you or, you know, it literally just takes half a second to dip the tungsten into your weld pedal or touch your, dip your tip as they call it. But it is what it is. One of those things. Um, turned out all right for what it was, I thought anyway. Uh, not my nicest work, but when you get into doing aluminum, old aluminum sometimes, it's just the way she rolls. You know, you can't really, uh, can't do anything about it. I, you know, cleaned it and heated it and sandblasted it and then cleaned it off with acetone. So but this thing all well to back up now. I don't know, there was definitely some contaminants still in there. I, I thought I had it pretty clean, but it didn't want to weld worth a shit. So I got it all welded up. It doesn't look very pretty, but like there is still some staining ah, hot and stuff, but a little bit of staining, but it's going to be, I got a nice good weld on both sides. Um, hold on, let me grab this thing. I got it. Oh man, it's pretty warm. I got her all welded up on both sides. Got one half decent weld that it welded there, but I don't know what the deal was. It just was not working with me and spittering and sputtering. I must have had to, I, I must have had to sharpen my tungsten a hundred times. Well, maybe not a hundred, but at least twenty times. It just seems like every time I got rolling, it was boom, and it and wanted to it shoot stuff at the tungsten. But it doesn't help that I should. What I really need to do is set up a. Um, a good welding table again. I haven't had a good welding table in a couple years after we moved kind of like when we moved all the shop around the very first time time before I showed you guys um, I haven't had a good welding table since then. So anyways, um, it'll uh, it, It's not the prettiest, but the material is still dirty. So it is what it is used aluminum used stuff like that uh, especially on intake manifolds oil pans tranny pans blah 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 unless you cook the oil out of it lots of times it's really hard to get it to go in um, and it is what it is. I can't really blame anybody. I was just, today was not my day for TIG welding, apparently. But anyways, we got her all welded together. And uh, anyways, like, subscribe, hit me down in the comments, and uh, catch us on the next one.